Hello, I'm Eric Robson. I'm here in South Lakeland to explain why the council is consulting you on something called housing transfer. In the next few minutes, I'll be explaining why the council believes that transfer to the new style South Lakes housing, who would own and manage the council's homes in the future, would mean better homes, better services and safer communities, if that's what you want to see. In 2004, South Lakeland District Council set up South Lakes Housing to manage its then 3,400 council homes. The move's been a great success. South Lakes Housing was successful in getting £21 million worth of government funds to improve homes up to the basic decent homes standard, a minimum standard set by the government. However, that money's been spent and the way council housing is funded is to change. From next April, the council will have to take on an extra £64 million worth of debt, which would significantly limit and delay any improvement work. Tenants in South Lakeland have also been telling the council they want to see more than the basic decent home standard. They want a higher South Lakeland standard, which would mean, for example, new kitchens, bathrooms, new front and back doors, double glazing and central heating upgrades where needed as well as improvements to the environment, such as better fencing and security lighting. Here's what tenants have been saying. I've been here 17 years. I've done a lot to the bathroom. Um, it could really do with replacing now. My home could do with a new secure back door. I'm one of the lucky ones. Um, I've had a lot of work done in my house. I think all tenants should get the same. I'd like to see more uh, repairs appointments, say early evenings or Saturday mornings. I'd like the outside of my house painted. It hasn't been painted in years. I paid for my own bathroom four years ago because the council didn't have the money then. I would like a new kitchen done and I don't want to pay for that myself. I'd like to know that the tenants' rights are protected, as in the right to buy. I would hope the grounds maintenance could be improved, such as cutting back the shrubs and uh, the weeding. I'd like to see my estate improved, such as new fencing. I would like to know if the money is available to maintain our homes in the future. I'd like the bathroom improving and I'd like the estate that I live on improving too. The council wants to give tenants the standards they want to see, but here at South Lakeland House, I'm off to find out why neither the council nor South Lakes Housing can currently afford to do that. Well, I'm with Councillor Peter Thornton, portfolio holder for housing, and David Sykes, the council's acting director of communities. Peter, first of all, what problems are the council facing? Well, at the moment, South Lake and District Council is the landlord, and South Lakes Housing manages the council's homes, and they have been doing a terrific job on our behalf. However, it's estimated that £188 million is needed over the next 30 years, just to improve and maintain these homes. Now, in the next five years alone, around £38 million is needed to bring all homes up to the South Lakeland standard. That's about £8 million more than the council could spend. So, as things stand, the council just doesn't have the money and won't be allowed to borrow any more. Plus, the money that South Lakes Housing has had to spend from the government, that's come to an end. Now on top of this, new government finance rules mean the council will have to take on an extra £64 million and that will increase our overall housing debt to £77 million from next April. All of this means that the council would have to delay and limit carrying out those much needed improvements so it could start to repay this debt. And David, what's the solution? Well having looked at all the available options with tenants, the council believes that the proposed transfer is the best solution to help unlock the money needed and keep rents affordable. It would also secure the housing for the long term, meaning we would know the money is in place to improve homes, estates and services and continue to maintain them in the future. So how would transfer work in South Lakeland? The proposal is that South Lakes Housing which currently manages the council's homes, would also take over the ownership of them. It would continue to be called South Lakes Housing and would become a new local not-for-profit housing provider. 
Staff who currently work for South Lakes Housing would continue to work for it as the new style South Lakes Housing and carry on running the service. So David, what's the difference? The difference is that we would not have to pay back a £77 million debt. The new style South Lakes Housing would be governed by different financial rules, which would mean it would be able to borrow the money needed to bring the homes up to the South Lakeland standard and, just as importantly, keep them up to that standard for the next 30 years. If transfer goes ahead, it would borrow the money from banks and building societies and repay it over 30 years. The money it would borrow would be considerably less than the debt the council would be required to take on by the government. In short, the new style South Lakes housing would be able to repay the money and be able to improve homes a lot faster than the council. With a transfer, a full improvement programme would take five years.